Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautifully clear sunscreen stick. One of the great things about a clear sunscreen stick like this is I can apply as much as I want, layer upon layer, and it remains totally clear all the time. It's also great if I don't want any of that gloss or white rub in time that you can get from other sunscreen combinations. So let me show you how to put it together and I'll also talk you through some important sunscreen formulating and selection tips as I go. Now first of all I'm going to work on building that good stick base and to do that I have some light skin fill esters here. I have Oil Chemia 5S polymer here. Now this is a really important material. This is actually going to help build the majority of the stick structure. And here I have some silica dimethyl silylate. This is also going to help with the viscosity of the stick but it's really good at helping to stabilize those UV filters. Now one of the tricks when you're making a sunscreen product is to make sure that you have methods in place to ensure good spread of the UV filters and to stabilize the UV filters in place. The reason this is so important is you need a nice homogeneous distribution of your UV filters over the shelf life of the product to help give you the best possible SPF for filter input and to help make sure that the right amount of filters get supplied to the skin every time for the best SPF protection. Now I'm just gonna start heating this and while that's heating, I'm just going to combine my sunscreens here. So I have a mixture of UV filters here, and this is another UV filter here. What I'm doing is I'm actually mixing them together to disperse them before adding to my stick base. Now some of the solvents you need for creating your sunscreens need to be really good at being the solvents to help with that spreadability and also to solvate the sunscreens. So in this case, I've got C1215 alcohol benzoate in my stick base. Now this is a great ester to use in sunscreens. Not only does it reduce a residual greasy feeling, it also helps act as a great solvent for sunscreen agents so that you get fantastic spread without greasiness and you also maximize the dispersion of that sunscreen for a great SPF rating. Now at this point you might also say, well Belinda, why do they use combinations of different UV filters in formulas? Why not just use one or two instead of combinations? Well there is a synergy to be had between different combinations of UV filters, but it's also important to note that different UV filters will protect the skin from different wavelengths of light. So in order to get broad spectrum protection that covers across a broad range of light wavelengths, you need to use a combination of UV filters to give that broad spectrum protection. It's also really important to note that there are a lot of regulations over the use of different UV filters to ensure safe use by consumers. So we need to stay within these limits. So we can't usually just use one or two materials to get a high SPF rating because we simply wouldn't achieve the SPF we need using one or two alone under regulatory limits. Remember, it's all about product safety and ensuring the product performs as promised to protect that consumer from harmful UV rays. Now there's a great tool that DSM have. I'm using DSM filters in this product. And this sunscreen calculator helps you predict the relative UV rating from different combinations of UV filters used. It's also got this great tool here, which shows me that I should get a clear combination from the UV filters I've selected. And this is important because in this case, I'm creating a clear sunscreen stick. Once that stick base is fully melted, we can add our UV filters and stir to combine. Then I can remove from the heat and while still molten, add my fragrance and stabilizing agent. And pour off into my packaging. Now 
Now I'll need to allow that time to cool down completely and it will set the next day into this beautiful clear stick form. Well, if I made that look easy, it's because it was by using certain key ingredients and that DSM sunscreen calculator. Remember to contact us for this full formula if you'd like to make this for your own brand. Just make sure you check your local regulatory requirements when it comes to sunscreens and UV filters to ensure compliance as these products are treated differently and the limits for sunscreens will differ around the world. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a beautifully clear sunscreen stick. Please give the video a thumbs up, please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating!